गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर एट इन दिस वीडियो यू विल नो अबाउट रिलेशन बिटवीन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिवीजन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिवीजन सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिलेशन बिटवीन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिवीजन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल लेट इज टेक फोर बंचेज ऑफ थ्री लीव्स ईच Now find out the total number of leaves. Total number of leaves equals to four multiplied by three equals to twelve. Here four is the multiplicand. Three is the multiplier. And twelve is the product. Or you can see. Four and three; these two are the factors of twelve. So, how many threes are there in twelve? Clearly, four, because if we divide twelve by three, we get four. Thus, twelve divided by three equals to four. Now again divide 12 leaves into four bunches So how many leaves are there in each group Yes clearly 3 because if we divide 12 by 4 then we will get the answer 3 Therefore, twelve divided by four equals to three. Thus, the multiplication fact four into three equals to twelve. give rise to two division facts that is 12 divided by 3 equals to 4 and second 12 divided by 4 equals to 3 it is also clear that division is the inverse of multiplication exercise 26 Question one: Write two division facts for each of the following multiplication facts. First question is: Three into six equals to eighteen. Here, three is the multiplicand. Six is the multiplier. And eighteen is the product. Or you can also say that three and six; these two are the factors of 18 and to find out the division fact from the multiplication fact first of all we have to divide the product from two of the factors so the first division fact is 18 divided by 3 equals to 6 if we divide 18 by 3 we'll get 6 because if we count the table of 3 6 times Then we'll get eighteen. Three six is eighteen. Now write second division fact. Eighteen divided by six equals to three. If we divide eighteen by six, we'll get three. Because if we count the table of six three times, then we'll get the answer eighteen. Six three is eighteen. So here, these are your division facts. Now the next question is four into five equals to twenty. Here four and five are the factors of twenty. And to find out the division fact from the multiplication fact, first of all we have to divide the product from two of the factors. 
So the first division fact is 20 divided by 4 equals to 5. If we divide 20 by 4, we'll get 5 because if we count the table of 4 5 times, then we'll get 20. 4 fives are 20. Now write second division fact. 20 divided by 5 equals to 4. If we divide 20 by 5, we'll get 4 because if we count the table of 5 4 times, then we'll get 20. 5 fours are 20. Question 2. Write the multiplication facts of the following division facts. Now, division fact is given and you have to write the multiplication fact. So, the first question is 24 divided by 6 equals to 4. Here, 24 is dividend. 6 is divisor. And 4 is the quotient. To find out the multiplication fact, we will multiply quotient with divisor. Then we can get the answer. Since both these numbers are different, then you will get two multiplication facts. So first multiply this 4 with 6. 4 into 6 equals to 24. Because 4, 6 are 24. See, if you change the order of number, the product will be same. 6 multiplied by 4 equals to 24. So here, these are your multiplication facts. Next question. 25 divided by 5 equals to 5. If these two numbers are same, then you will get only one multiplication fact. So 5 multiplied by 5 equals to 25. 5 fives are 25. This is your answer. Now the next topic is properties of division. Property 1 When a non-zero number is divided by 1, the quotient is the number itself. For example, 6 divided by 1 equals to 6. 7 divided by 1 equals to 7 and 8 divided by 1 equals to 8. Property 2 When a non-zero number is divided by itself, the quotient is 1. Example, 6 divided by 6 equals to 1. 7 divided by 7 equals to 1 and if you divide 8 by 8 you will get the answer 1. Property 3 Dividing any number by 0 has no meaning. For example let us try to divide 3 by 0 by the use of repeated subtraction. 3 minus 0 equals to 3. 3 minus 0 again, then you will get 3. Again, 3 minus 0 equals to 3. Thus, every time we subtract 0, and get 3. This process has no end. So, we cannot divide any number by 0. Property 4 
when 0 is divided by any non-zero number, the quotient is 0. And we know that any number into 0 equals to 0. Therefore, 2 multiplied by 0 equals to 0 gives 0 divided by 2 equals to 0. Therefore, when 0 is divided by any non-zero number, the quotient is 0. Now, that's all for today. I hope you have understood. So, please watch this video again and again to understand better. Thank you.